name is Barth Hansen. I'm from Elsinore, and I got started about seven or eight years ago. I paint with oil, and I'm an animal lover, and I get my ideas out of my mind. I get reference from books. I get reference from photographs. Uh, all of them. I've just been an animal lover all my life. That's great. I'm not been a been an artist somewhat all my life, but didn't paint until I painted a little bit in high school. And then I started painting here. Maybe I haven't had any formal schooling on it. I just uh, self-taught and picked up ideas from here and there. Of course, now helps me out with some ideas. And everybody helps everybody out. But as far as uh, any formal education, I haven't had it. This uh, picture here, I seen it in a book one day, and I've added to it not that just a goat's head. And it made an interesting picture. Mm -hmm. So I, I painted it. This one here, I just added two or three things together and painted that. Uh, this one here is, is a maple grove in the fall of time. This one here, I was out on St. Miller's Lane one day and see these goats out there, and I thought that would make a very interesting picture. But if you can see my work, I put detail, I put eyes and everything. I'll put this and that. People can't see without eyes. I figure animals can't see without eyes, so I've got to have eyes with everything. So. <laughs> No matter how little they are, I've got eyes in them. I've got chickens that's half inch tall and I've got eyes in them. <laughs> You've got a little dot there, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've got to have them. I, I just love detail in my work. Sometimes I may put too much detail. Sarah, uh, uh, big horn sheep. I got the idea out of a magazine. I added out of two or three different places I add together and by, I, I get my my picture. Sure. And this one here is uh, Severe River. Of course Fish Lake. That's really nice. The Wolf is a, another thing that I got out of a magazine and put more two or three different things together. <laughs> This picture here is more or less uh, just a picture of history. It came out of a history book. And it's, uh, it's the cowmen at the end of the roundup. They're making their deals, pass the paper, a bill of sale to the other mm. the buyer. That's great. This one here is out of my head. That's at the just a cricket I'd seen one time, and I, I started it and just added to it until I finished whatever I had. That's great. Where was it located? Do you remember? Mostly right here. <laughs> but it, it could be any any stream in Severe County, or up there, any place around here. Yeah, it could be similar to even this one, the Severe. But I started as a picture of uh, something else, and I. Man and Dow got together and we decided that wouldn't work. So I, I decided, well, it will go to work this way. And so I made this picture. <laughs> that looks good. It looks like it was meant to be that. I see great. It. This one here is out of a wildlife magazine. And it's partially that and partially out of, uh, I can't remember what other book I got. And then I, a picture that I took myself. To. Uh, combined. Where I got it from that. And that's all it is. So I can I can add everything together. That's the nice thing about being an artist. You can put everything together. Buffalo come out of down here in Annaville. They can put it in this here Mount Scene above Richfield. Maybe it's, it's called Lunch on the Range. <laughs> but anyhow, this one here is strictly out of my head and memories of what we used to dress back in the 50s. Go to school. And the games we played. We didn't have the computers, we weren't in there, we just played marbles, the kids are playing marbles. This is going out and trying to find somebody to play basketball, these are playing catch. This one here is a nerd, he's a reading. So that's what I, I did in that. And it's no schoolhouse any place, but it just a, 
And what I did is just made a schoolhouse to indicate there was a schoolhouse. Okay. I didn't think I wanted any particular, but the dress on the kids is what I wanted. And the dress on the school teachers, see, it's bobbed hair and stuff. Yeah. Long dresses. And that's exactly what it looked like in the 50s, the kids dressed like. That's great. Now listen, here is a, a barn. It's Pete Anderson's old barn. It used to be up behind my house. Mm. Uh, it's gone now, and there's a house built there in the place of where it was at. But I, I took a picture a long time ago, and I decided I would paint that and uh, capture the time. That's what it was. This is when it was falling down. Of course, was, I had another picture, but when it was in rock lot better shape, but I decided to take it. I don't know why they didn't fix that up. I, oh, oh, I was upset. I used to go up there in the old loft and get pigeons. And I'd go up there in the loft and get pigeons all the time. Yeah, yeah it was fun.